So you want to main Ratatasker, the sly messenger. First, ask yourself, why do you want to main Ratatasker? He has a lot of CC. He's undoubtedly the cutest god in spite. He has a freaking Fenrir skin. Ratatasker has an ultimate that makes his ganks pretty scary. But before you main Ratatasker, it's good to know the cons of him. He struggles against guards with cripple and hard CC. His late game is not the greatest. Ratatasker is a Smite Norse assassin. Smite has classified him as an easy god and I find him easy to average. If you're an experienced Ratatasker player or you just love playing him, feel free to leave any of your own tips down in the comments below. In this guide, we're going to go through Ratatasker as a jungler, going through his abilities, attack cancelling, combos, builds, counters, what not to do, and general combat tips. And you can easily apply this into other game modes as well. With that, let's go through his abilities. For short, we're going to address Ratatasker as Rat throughout this guide to make it much more easier. Rat's passive, I can't say this, Acorn of Yggdrasil? I'm not sure. Rat spawns a powerful magic acorn from the world tree in his inventory. This replaces the item boots, therefore he cannot purchase boots. He can upgrade his acorn through the item store from anywhere on the map. This item increases his power and movement speed. The fully upgraded acorn heals him when his abilities successfully hit enemies. So pretty straightforward, it's an item that gives him movement speed, physical power, and on its third tier, it heals you for successful ability hits. Rat's first ability, Dart. Rat's first ability is a dash ability type. Rat dashes forward, damaging and slowing enemies for 3 seconds. Rat's dash will go through minions but stops at the first guard hit. This ability is his main escape and engagement. It's really nice to use on enemies as the slow helps you stick on them, but do keep in mind when you do this, you are putting yourself at a risk. If you're a bit concerned using this as an engagement, have your ultimate up. That way, you'll have a backup to escape if you're going to use this ability in fights. Rat's second ability, Flurry. Rat's second ability is an area ability type. Rat spins around in a flurry of attacks, damaging nearby enemies. Enemies hit will have their physical protections reduced up to four times. This ability is nice to get off at the beginning of fights due to the physical protection reduction, but Rat is pretty situational with his abilities, so this won't always happen. Rat's third ability, Acorn Blast. Rat's third ability is a projectile ability type. Rat shoots a blast of three acorns forward in a cone, each of them dealing damage. Enemies hit by more than one acorn will take additional damage. Enemies hit by all three acorns are stunned for one second. This ability is his main CC. Due to the benefits, you'll always want to hit at least two or always three when you can. To pretty much always hit three acorns, just try and be as close as you can to the enemy. That way you'll always hit three acorns, whereas if you're too far from them, you always won't be able to hit all three. Rat's ultimate through the cosmos. Rat's ultimate is a ground target ability type. Rat charges up and then leaps from the ground to a branch high above his head. He may jump two more branches before choosing a landing location. He deals damage and knocks up enemies he lands on. This ultimate can be cancelled or timed out from any of the branches, causing Rat to strike at his current target location. This ultimate is great for escaping, engaging and chasing. Do keep in mind when using this as an escape, it does have a cast time of 1.5 seconds, so make sure you use this at a decent health level against guards who can burst you down pretty quick. Now let's get into the leveling priority for Rat's abilities. For the first 5 levels, at level 1, his 3, at level 2, his 2, at level 3, his 1, at level 4, his 2, at level 5, his ultimate. For leveling priority, his 2 for increased damage and physical protection reduction, his 3 for increased damage, his 1 for increased damage and slow, his ultimate for increased damage and decreased cooldown. So basically, 2, 3, 1, 4. If you value the slow more and you're playing your dash more aggressively, you can choose to maximize your first ability over your third ability, but do keep in mind that you lose a bit of damage as your third ability does more damage overall. 
Attack Cancelling or Ratataska Attack Cancelling allows for some extra basic attack damage, which means you can get more damage off in the time you're waiting for the attack animation to complete. This isn't mandatory to do. I would like to note that with Rat, you do want to make use of his basics, they're very important on him. This is Ratataska's basic attack chain. With his first ability, this one is pretty nice, you almost don't even notice the AA cancel from how quick it is when you're close to the enemy. Your one on quick cast, as soon as you fire the basic, use your first ability. For his second ability, his two on quick cast, as soon as you fire your basic, use your second ability. On his third ability, his three on quick cast, as soon as you fire your basic, use your three. Come on, hit me. Combos for Ratataska. Before we get into combos, a few pointers. Rat makes use of his basics, so you want to implement these in between your abilities when needed. With that said, you do not have to use each ability right after each other. Each ability Rat uses is situational. When you don't need a stun or slow, use your basic attacks in between. Remember that his dash and his ultimate is used for engaging, escaping and chasing. Make sure you have enough time to ult out if you're using it as an escape as the cast time is 1.5 seconds, which is a lot of time for the enemies to burst you down. Remember that his second ability has protection reduction. When you can, use it before the other abilities, but I know sometimes you'll need a stun before anything else, so this isn't mandatory. Rat has a lot of combos. You can really mix and match them since they are really situational, and again, Remember, you can use your basic attacks between each ability. That's really important to remember. Remember, his ultimate also has a knock-up upon landing. For short combos, 1 and 2. 1 and 3. 3 and 2. 2 and 3. For medium combos, 2, 3, 1. 1, 3, 2 For full combos 4, 3, 2, 1 Or 4, 2, 3, 1 There are a lot more combos you can do but these should pretty much keep you set while you're on your way to mastering Ratataska. Builds for Ratataska. Builds always depend on what kind of enemies you're up against. My builds in these videos is just a general guideline. You can adjust accordingly depending on your game and situation. Rat has a bruiser type of build, so it's always situational what you want for him. For a jungler build, you can do an SPL start where you just straight off start with the Acorn, and since you can buy this anywhere, you can finish it while you're on the map. Otherwise, start with Assassin's Blessing plus Tier 1 of Crusher or Brawler's Beatstick if you need anti-heal, then the Acorn, Crusher or Brawler's, Ansile, Gladiator's Shield, Mantle of Discord, and Void Shield. Remember, this build does not work in every game and you'll have to swap out items or change items depending on what you need. Other items you can pick up but not limited to are Bulwark of Hope if magical damage is an issue, Spirit Robe, Magi's Cloak if CC is an issue, Shifter's Shield, Winged Blade. For Relics, it's also game dependent but Relics you can pick up are Blink for an aggressive playstyle, Purification Beads, Aegis Amulet. Counters of Ratataska. Rat is heavily countered by cripples and hard CC. He would not be able to use his dash when crippled. Magi's cloak and beads will counter his stun and knock up, standing in front of his dash when he's trying to escape. What not to do as Ratataska. Do not use your dash as an engagement into a bunch of enemies without your teammates. They will stack on you pretty hard. Do not use your dash as an engagement if you think you'll die. Do not go full damage on Rat. You want to get in and be able to get out, and a Bruiser type build benefits his playstyle and kit. In the early game, do not clear the minions by straight off using your third ability. Basic attack them first, and then use your third ability. Here's a clip on how to clear with Rat early game. You'll want all the minions to be close to you so you can hit all three of them with your acorns. Also, good to note that Rat's fourth basic attack is an AoE. Tips for Ratataska. Rat can be really good at ganking. Make sure to let your teammates know as you don't want to go in alone if it's more than two people at considerably high amount of health. Remember that he heals when enemies are hit with abilities once he has full acorn. He has a strong early game. 
Don't be afraid to go in when the opportunity is there. You can put yourself in a bit more risky positions, for example, pushing up wave a bit if you're clearing fire minions. Just make sure you have your ultimate up. This will get you out of nearly all bad situations. Remember that you can upgrade your Acon without having to go back to base. Remember to implement your basic attacks in between abilities. And that is all for the Relatasca guide. Just to let you guys know, I'll be streaming at twitch.tv slash supercheats. I'll be streaming Smite, Pokemon Let's Go and Fallout 76. So I hope you can drop by and hang out. Any comments and likes would be super rad. Let me know down in the comments on who you would like to main next. Feel free to subscribe and click the bell if you haven't already. It really helps me out. I'll catch you for the next one. Bye.